Hi, Skilly here. Okay, this is part three of the watercolor perspective series that I've been doing. This is the exciting bit. I have done the basic sketch already on stretch paper. Um, and I'll go through it, through it with you initially and then I'm going to put it on half uh, fast speed and then you'll just have to watch as it goes along. The concept of this drawing is again very simple perspective and a very simple background. And this would be a farmscape in the middle of our Karoo or the semi-desert area. It's hot so contrasting colors and shadows are very important here. Uh, I've kept the sky very simple. It's blue with a bit of mist around. I um, have no idea how it's really going to come out, but let's just see how we go. Yeah, I use clear water to wet the sky area. Turn the paper upside down so the paint runs away from the horizon. Yeah, I use a tissue to dab the horizon line and get rid of the blue to give the impression of a distant haze. A little bit of dark blue now, uh, aquamarine and a little bit of grey to darken the sky uh, away from the horizon. A little bit more tissue. Okay, once the sky is dry, turn the paper over and start on the landscape. I always like to work from the left hand side to the right. I'm right handed so you're never painting over the paper. Um, and work from there to the left. And I notice that I'm using the vanishing point here as a reference to the landscape on the side here, going around the house, the front of the garden, get horizontal lines or vanishing point lines in between the houses, changing the colours all the time to represent the earthy colours that you get in that area. Bear in mind the sun is coming from the right hand corner, top right hand corner, so what happens on the right hand side will be a little bit in shadow as opposed to what's happening on the left. I'm using wet colours here, so I'm painting wet on wet. Um, and various tones of brown and um, sienna and uh, colors like that. Also all wet at the moment. This hill on the right hand side will be in shadow to some extent, um, hence the darker colors. Here you see the tree in the foreground, so we have to paint around the tree. I'm using a small brush because of this detail, but generally using quite quickly again, using the horizon point or the vanishing point as a reference all along here. Now the base of the little uh, hill there that needs to be identified and uh, it's never one color using two or three colors at any one time. the hill in the background which will again be a dark color uh, and will blend into the hill on the right hand side. We have to distinguish between the foreground and the background here working around the tree.
here I start adding a little bit of foliage again it's never green it's the tones of the the colors in the area with a dab of green here and there we'll add to this foliage much later we'll see when we start doing the trees uh, bearing in mind where the light is coming from and we'll talk about shadows a, a little bit later Okay, so now we see the basics of the drawing coming through. Um, you've got a pretty good idea of the terrain, the perspective, as I said to you in previous uh, drawings, the vanishing point is there, your horizon is there, that's where the door is, so you get your, your scale correct, and you get the idea of everything going into that vanishing point that you see there. Um, we're going to now start with the details. And because I said, as I said earlier, we're going to talk about shadows and, and uh, contrasts, that's what's going to happen from here on. with the more heavy contrast of the shadows created by the leaves on the trees and these will get darker as we build up the painting uh, you'll see what looks dark now won't be as dark a little later on and I will continue to make them darker as I try and create depths in this painting now uh, doing the windows and the doors of these little cottages never black it's always grays and blues and you start off with a color a lighter color and then gradually build up the, the depth of the dark blue gray interior there's no glass in the window so there's no reflection uh, very very simple drawing now I'm doing the shadows Remember the sun's coming from the top right hand corner so these areas will be in shadow um, and uh, adding a little bit of detail to the ground. When I do the trees, the trunks of the trees and the branches, we never use brown either. We always using, I use a grey or light tones of brown uh, or a combination it's also wet so let it one color blend into the other remember the branches underneath the leaves are in shadow so shadows have a major part to play in the painting of a tree and what's underneath it
I put this fence in on purpose just to accentuate the perspective line and the vanishing point. There would be a fence like this in a place like this um, and it gives a very good indication of a perspective and the vanishing point. Add a little bit more green to the base of the buildings. We're starting to do the fine, finer details now. Remember the building have a shadow, very important. Bear in mind where the sun is coming from. So these dark lines or uh, strokes that you see here are indicative of the shadows. The shadows of the tree, of course, are very important. That's why I put the tree where I did so that the shadows would fall onto the white front of the, the little cottage. Um, also never grey, it's a combination of greys and blues, let it run, uh, let it be wet and run into one colour, run into the other. And, and then that line from the tree giving indication from where the sun is coming. Also put the washing line in where I did on purpose. Uh, the washing line will add colour to this little perspective um, and it's quite good to have contrasting colours, reds and blues and white so they give indication of sh maybe sheets and then coloured clothing. Uh, just helps the painting um, with a little bit more interest. Start finishing off the painting now with using a pencil. So the finer shadow lines, I'll use a pencil. So you see the architraves around the doors and the detail around the door uh, are done with a pencil, uh, and maybe the steps, a little bit of character to the to the to the drawing. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.